Welcome to Team Guru tutorial on how to create a new Action List new A3 project. Action List module helps you to manage all of your projects uh, from one place. Before we start creating a new Action List, let's actually open the one that is already existing. And as you can see, our A3 projects consists of two parts. First part uh, is your project charter as you can see right here and when you scroll down second part includes all your actions and how we create one of these A3 projects we will learn together uh, in today's tutorial. To create a new action list uh, please click on our action list module on the left side and from drop down menu choose action lists. Now you have to select a folder where you would like to create your action list and on the right side please click on our green plus button to add a new list. And now we are ready to set up our action list such as title, a leader you choose from drop down menu. You can also choose if you would like to share your action list with public or only with invited users and you can also protect settings of your action list. So if you check the box, you can choose your document administrators and these administrators and leader are going to be the only ones who can change your action list project charter settings. Then we choose all the settings for our project definition tab, such as team members, current state, business goals, and so on. Uh, you also have an option if you don't want to include any of these uh, in your action list, you can just unclick this box. You can see you have a, a color, color option, green, yellow, red, and this is set up manually and completely based on your preferences. And you can also link your uh, project to a metric dashboard from drop down menu. Or you can just choose to have a text version of your metric uh, definition that it will show in your project charter. And you just have to select new metric, click on new metric and fill in all uh, the information. You can also link your RCCAs, your project reports and you can add attachments that are related to your action list. And now we can move on to our next step which is project hierarchy. Uh, as you can see on this picture you can link your projects together in cascading hierarchy and at one glance you can review supporting level projects with up-to-date status and completion rate. So let's say that uh, you would like this to be a parent project so then you just need to choose your sub projects. Under tab settings you have uh, options to choose if you would like to modify start finish dates or delete tasks and from drop down menu you have several options each company has a different settings configurations but the ones that it's uh, more that it's used most of the time uh, it is the one that it says can be changed by action list owner only you also have an option to enable new action notification by email which means that any new action created all the responsible people will be notified by email Enable Actions Approval, it's a great feature that you can use with your actions and just to show you a little bit more in a detail, I will use one of our uh, A3 projects. Before we start, let's go to one of our actions and when we open it, we will see that right now we have only a field for responsible um, and if we want to create the window for approval, that's when we have to go to our settings and check this box for enable actions approval. Once we do that, save and view settings, uh, then we will see when we go back to our action uh, that we have a now field for approver. Let's continue with our settings. Default approver. You have an option to choose one person who is going to be the same approver for all your actions. You can choose a project type. Um, this project type is used uh, if you're looking for a certain project and it's used in a filter option and it is also used when you're creating automatic uh, dashboards. Uh, you choose your project type from drop-down menu. 
um, it will give you already defined project types or if there are new ones that they have to be created it's under action list and project types but usually only system administrators can do that and you also have an option to display as number list and it will look like this where to display tab um, you can choose uh, folders where you would like this action list uh, to be displayed and external sharing you can share it with the external button once you are done with all your settings you have to click on save and view button okay so once you complete all the settings for your uh, project chart uh, you just click save and view button and it will take you to your A3 project. Here you will see your project chart uh, completed and when you scroll down you will be ready to add your actions. Since I'm already using an existing one you already see some actions created uh, but if you have a new one of course there will be no actions uh, here yet. If you need to create a new action you just need to simply click on green plus button and create a new action. If you need to create a um, sub action uh, under your main actions you just need to click on your action on the green plus button and add action when you want to create a new action you have to select action name details you can also uh, add any list items which is like a little to-do list within an action you can add labels um, you choose your start date, due date, ETA and responsible uh, people. As you can see there is a box for uh, notify by email. So once you complete all these definitions and you uh, click on save and close button, uh, this responsible person will receive um, notification by email. Once the responsible person receives a notification email, they will be able to click on the link and it will take them directly to their action. Then they will be able to update it. They can choose any labels or create a new label. Um, they can choose a flag, a status completion. They can add comments. They can also attach uh, any attachments uh, from their computer or they can choose related documents um, from within Team Guru. Action location. Here it shows you in which document your action is located and if you want to change it you can choose a different document from drop down menu. Main task. It shows you where your action is located under what task. Our task is located under project definition in this case and related action list you can choose a related action list from drop down menu and history it will show you any changes or modifications to your actions now I would like to go back and talk a little bit more about our approver uh, functionality in your action you can choose your approver from drop down menu and once you are done you just click on save and close button now let's say then I'm the approver and I would like to approve this action so I can go back check this uh, box for approved and click on save and close and now let's see what happens as you see our status has changed into green color and um, any actions that they need approvals they will be uh, colored in green and all the rest will be in blue color and I would like to also mention regarding this uh, approval feature you have two ways how you find out if you have any actions for approval um, first one uh, you will be notified by email and that happens if responsible person of action will add any comments let's say please approve action and save and close uh, in that case you will receive email or you can go to your team guru page and under your actions you will see actions evading approval and it's all linked together and I would like to share more details let's say that you have an action and you would like to change its status that it's 100% completed let's say save and close let's see what happens 
uh, it disappears and it's not under our action list uh, anymore. And uh, it happens because our filter, uh, our default filter is set up that it shows only open actions. But if you want to change it, you can just click on show filters and you can uh, select from uh, different um, options what actions you would like to be displayed. So let's see that I would say that I want to see completed actions too hide filters and now we will be able to find our action again. Uh, then uh, you can also highlight all your actions choosing a different labels or flags. Also when you scroll all the way up uh, you have an option to export your A3 project into PDF format, Excel format. Uh, you can also um, mass import your actions in case you have already existing action list in your Excel file. In that case you can contact us or your system administrators and they will be able to help you with that. Uh, you can also get team statistics. Uh, you can uh, change the time and you can get statistics for all the actions by total uh, team or by team member. You can add your A3 project to your favorites, also subscribe to notifications. And I would like to point out one more thing before we finish and it is our main task start and due date. Let's say um, you have a main task, lessons learned session, and you have a subtask, lesson A, lesson B, and lesson C. If you go to your main tasks and you would like to edit start or due date or completion status, you've noticed you are not able to do that. And the reason is dates and status are driven by subtasks, which means your first day of the main task will be the earlier date from all of your sub actions. So from all three dates, it will be the earliest days, which is 625th. And due day, it will be the latest date from all of your subtasks. So it's not going to be November 26 or November 29, but it's going to be the January 1st, 2019, because it's the latest uh, date. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or need any assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at teamguru.com. We would be very happy to hear from you.